You're listening to The Angry Designer, where we cut through the industry bull to help frustrated graphic designers survive and thrive. We'll do a, a big sound slap. Yep. Ooh. That was, that was a, a good slap, one. Right? Ooh, I can hear that throughout the whole building. <laughs> it's just like, whoosh. <laughs> All right, my okay. friend. Sean, yes. cheers. Cheers, Massimo. It's good to have you back. It's good Thank to be you. back, my Thank friend. You. Alive and well. Mm-hmm. Oh. So everybody, we've we've missed Sean. We miss Sean. <laughs> we've everybody missed, missed Sean. Sean's missed everybody. <laughs> and um and and it was weird. I did a I did a kind of an 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 odd episode last week, which is something different and which uh, was great, by the way. Well, but it was on perseverance, and that's yes. what kind of sucks about what we have to talk about this week. This is true. This is true. So I'm not going to give you guys too much of a ramble beforehand because I have a feeling mm. we're going to be renting up. But we had um, at Zed Factor this week, we had like the worst possible fucking thing ever mm. fucking happened. Yes. So, of course, it's, it had nothing to do with Sean. Sean's here. He's good. He's healthy. He's on the mend. Yep. So good to Sean. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, sadly, we had lost. And by lost, I mean, we, we had our senior developer mm. pass away this week. Yes. And he passed away totally fucking unexpectedly yes it was um it was a total surreal moment i'll I'll tell you what happened and it was um and this is this is where and i mean again i haven't really talked to you too much about this one Mm -hmm. sean because i haven't Mm -hmm. seen sean until today this is our first time and yes and uh and i figured this is a really good way to fucking uh, just kind of dive into this yes but um talked to him on tuesday Mm mm-hmm and I talked to him Tuesday morning when we were going to do our group, you know, Game of Thrones yes, recap. Yep, and and yes. the guy was like, oh, no, I didn't end up watching it. I was in bed all fucking weekend. Mm. And I'm like, what the hell's the matter with you? And he's yeah. like, oh, you know, chest infection since Friday. Yeah. I'm like, dude, get your ass to the doctor. Yes. If you have a chest infection, you're going to need antibiotics. Mm. And he's like, oh, fuck, I'll, I'll go to the doctor when I'm next to death. And then, and then I, I literally typed and I'm like, dude, I go after this game of Thrones meeting, I'm going to call you back and bitch at you until you go to the fucking doctor. (laughs) And he gave me the sticky, the stick tongue out emoji. Right. (laughs) Sadly, I'm an asshole because the day Mm. just got the better of us. And, um, and I didn't call him back. Yeah. And I thought late at night, oh shit, you know what? I got to get a hold of Jamie. Mm. And, um, and then the next morning we come to work. And um, our client's platform is down, mm. right? Our client's big, giant platform. I'm like, well, that's really odd. Yeah. Because yeah. That, that thing has been rock solid and yes. up for over 600 days. Yes. And it was down. Yeah. And um, and so, of course, I messaged Jamie. I'm like, yo, dude, you know, how you feeling? Are, are, are you in bed? You know, whatever. Mm. Left it at that. Luis, you know, messaging him about 20 minutes later, right? Yeah. Hey, dude, you good? You know, you're just checking on you. Nothing. And it was like an hour goes by and clients like, what the fuck? We need this up. Yes. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to call the dude. Yeah. And, and just see, you know, if, if he's okay. And, and I mean, it's fine. If he's sick, he's sick, whatever. I just assumed it. And unfortunately I called his sister-in-law answered and and right away, as soon as a girl picks up his phone, I'm like, okay, that's just fucked up. And, and, and I'm like, what's going on? How's Jamie? And she's like, well, not good. And she was just like, really, she knew who I was, obviously this, that. And I'm like, is is he okay? Is he in the hospital? Like, like, like what's going on? Tell me. And she's like, he died the night before he, um, he had texted his friend at like 11 o'clock saying, can you call 911? I can't breathe. They got there within like 10 minutes and, um, and sure enough, he, yeah was so and they said that they, they couldn't, they couldn't resist him. The ambulance couldn't resist him. They had to break in. Um, so needless to say that you hear that Mm. and it number one your your whole fucking world changes yeah you know he was you know he was more than just an employee he was i mean he's been here for 15 years Yeah, he was as much a part of zed factor as i was in all fairness yeah uh, you know, because he was the tech half of this yes, company. Yes, he was huge. He was involved with here. every. He just wasn't in the front lines. He yes. was in the back, yes. and he everybody knew him. Every client knew him. Everybody. He was his own unique person. Mm. He was, you know, he, he, there's just, it's just, it, it's just, it was fucked up. Yes. It was so surreal. Yes. And the worst part about it, and this is the part where it was like, um, it was really hard to deal with because it was like you hear this, mm. and um, this is where I talk about this perseverance bullshit and Mm. and where i fucking hate it now that i think of it but in that time it was like there's two things you just find out that this person who is like a brother yeah died gone within like within the past like 10 hours of talking yeah yeah 
and then you've got a customer who you know you're loyal to and you have to get this and and you have to and and their platform is down yes and so it's just like holy fuck i don't even have a chance to mourn right now yes it's business as usual well because we right now the mission is to, how the fuck are we going to do this yeah. right and then with covid and everything jamie moved back up to his, his hometown right and he stayed up there because he could work remote yeah. why not right yeah. we learned yeah. how to do it um so he was you know 12 plus hours away so there's no chance for me to get out there and, and get his equipment or this or that and and mm -hmm. so of course there's a panic moment yeah and it was like i i can't even mourn it was like i remember yeah. it was like 10 in the morning and i'm like is it too early to have a drink yes because <laughs> i i feel yes. like i need one yes um funny how fucking how things work you know uh, with the acquisition in mm -hmm. place you know I, the first instinct i had was call you know my head tech guy there that i just met when we went out there and we had drinks with yep. nothing to do with work it was just he was a pure just, awesome guy yeah yeah and he was he was the head tech of the whole company so mm -hmm. it was like i i have to call him yeah call him you know all of a sudden it's like first thing is okay well look did you okay give me 20 minutes i'm gonna assemble the team yeah uh, i kind of felt like a you know super league just <laughs> justice league type of moment i'm, I'm gonna assemble New the team, team assemble. <laughs> you know that kind of thing um and um and so while they're doing that we're trying to get into his email and dude i felt so dirty Ooh. i felt right because here it's like the first thing you have to do is it's because i have admin rights shit I first I have to change his password. Yeah. I had to go in. I felt so fucking as a human and as a friend. I was like, this is just so. And not that I was worried about finding weird shit on there, right? Yeah. Because again, that wasn't even what it was about. No. It was just all of a sudden rifling through. So, and you couldn't even give him, you know, that it's the time, the to, time or the yes. respect to even. Yes. So yes. Within twenty minutes, they brought four people together on their team they're like you know what have you found and we managed to go through we found all the passwords for aws mm -hmm. we found all the passwords for our cloud hosting and this and that mm -hmm. right we found all this crazy ass shit, um, and we pulled it all together mm -hmm. and within you know three hours they had enough of an understanding that we ended up getting the platform back up and running oh, boy. right so that was kind yeah. of like a okay Thank you. Yeah. Right. And it was by this by this point it was like early afternoon, two o'clock. Yeah. So of course, yes. I then poured myself a drink. It, it, yes. And it was like now is the time to mourn. Yeah. Right. Yes. But it was just so fucking weird that it was like, you hear this, and I didn't even have a chance to mourn yes. initially. Yeah. That was the worst part That's, about this whole thing. Yeah. You have to. You you still have to persevere, if you will. Persevere. Fucking veer. Persevere. Fucking veer. Yes. And, and I mean. And that's you know, difficult. That's so difficult to do, considering you know the length of time that the, you know the, the relationship you had with this man. Like it's, it's that's why it's, it felt. And bad. I can I could totally see that you have to get this shit. You're running a business. This is yeah. what this is what you have to do. This is this is unfortunate. Yeah, it was. It was really that. Was, it was really hard, and yeah. I think maybe that's why my my grieving part was really was, fucked up. Yeah, because then okay, it was like two o'clock. I need a drink. Yeah, and I poured myself a big ass drink. Yeah, then it was like, well, I had to tell one or two customers mm -hmm. initially, and I was still in shock. But they had to know yeah. why the platform was why down. It was down. They were emailing Jamie. They know support. Oh, they so it was just like, what's so? Uh, yeah. So needless to say, when they their whole tune changed, of course. Yes, and they were like, holy shit. You guys take care of yourself. Don't worry about us. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and then then the drinking began. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> I, I I drank. So again, I bought I bought this awesome bottle called Angel's Envy that, that yes. I wanted to crack open with you. And I was like, oh shit, no, this 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 this, this can't wait. And I, you know, I I I it was very unhealthy for me to yeah. you know, we joke about drinking and I yeah. do enjoy it, but I mean at for whatever reason, that was the only way how I knew how to deal to with do, this. To deal with that. And um yeah, it's boy did I drink. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, I did afternoon, and then you know, I, I got home safe, of course, and then and then I just could it continued. Yeah, and I remember my kids were cool about it. They yeah. came, they hugged me. Right, oh. Rock was like, Dad, we should watch a superhero movie. Yeah, and it was his way of kind of the being like, kind of let's mending. Yeah, I help so you it's like you know deal with the grief. And again, I was just in the I was in the days. Yeah, yeah, you know, I um, and I think what oddly what what saved me was like. You know, thank God it was just after Thanksgiving because mm -hmm. there was this giant tray of stuffing. <laughs> and I remember being really, really drunk, sadly, at like 11 o'clock. 
And I was just like, wow, I haven't eaten anything. I better eat. And I was just taking handfuls of stuffing because <laughs> I didn't drink water. And um, I just took all this stuffing and I was stuffing my face. And the next morning, I remember waking up in the middle of the night going, oh, God, I didn't drink water before bed. Yeah, I'm going to be dead tomorrow. Toast. And, you know, I, I think I think the good old guy upstairs gave me a, a, a pass. He's like, yeah. you know what? You dealt with enough. Yeah. I woke up and I was you were fine. All that bread soaked all the alcohol up. <laughs> I guess this is a thing. So, so keep a uh, so new investment opportunity, right? <laughs> Pre hangover, just eat a couple of handfuls stuffing. of stuffing. Always, always keep some stove top on hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, needless to say, that well, was, that was the fucking day. Yeah, that I can imagine that would have been absolutely fucked awesome. up. When you told me, I was like fucking gutted. Right? Like, I just couldn't. Well, because we shared an office for years, like a yes. year, like the, when the three of us yes. were actually stuck in my office. Yes. And I mean, it was amazing. And it was hilarious. The conversations then, that we would have with this guy. Well, and arguments. Yeah, and <laughs> arguments. Like, exactly. But it was, how fucking fun was it? Because I mean, okay, so him and I couldn't have been any more different. Totally. Right? Exact like opposite. we were, it was literally, the, it was so stereotypical. We were so opposite yes, on so many yes. and And all the arguments, like, I mean, it was, it, it, it lit, this is where it was like, how do we even do an episode? Oh, this is the thing. And, and you know, it, I did a lot of soul searching because I, I, I was like, shit, I think we should just rerun something, rerun something. And mm. then, you know, in talking this through, he he is owed so much more than just a fucking rerun episode. He was so proud that we were doing this podcast. Mm. He thought it was really fucking cool. Yes. And um, and it was just like, well, I mean, like, who cares? Like, how, how different? Like, what, what could we possibly do? Nobody wants to hear mm -hmm. this. Yes. Um, but then I, I think it was just this episode probably means more now and it has completely given me a, a uh, you know, come to the light moment. Yes. Like I, cause I view programmers entirely different. Yes. And, and, and again, originally no, mm -hmm. but I, I've been doing a lot of soul searching since, since, since this shit happened mm -hmm. and, um, fuck, I kind of wish I did some of the soul searching earlier mm. because I think it would have changed our relationship even more. Like we always had a great relationship. Yeah. It was a very much a love-hate because we would argue, but then we'd be best friends in five seconds. Uh, this is exactly yeah. it. And this is the kind of guy that he was. And yes. he was here, what, 15 years, did you say? Yeah, like 15, so 17. Obviously there was that loyalty. To, uh, and, we were, and I mean, yeah. this is a developer, right? These yeah. guys are, you know, like mm. a bar of gold. You know, they can go anywhere they want what. and make any kind of money they want to make. I know. And he could have, and he, he could have gone yes. on a job anywhere else to make, and could have made 50% more, you know, maybe a hundred percent more depending. Totally. But you know, he said he was, he was appreciative that he was part of, you know, this small company. We let him yeah. have the life he wanted. He didn't have freedom. to work all these, he had freedom. Yeah. You yeah. know, we didn't, we didn't control him. He didn't feel that. So he, yeah. he took a giant pay cut just, be, just to be human. Just to be, yes. And this is the part that we would always yeah. joke about that they're not human. Programmers yeah. are not <laughs> human. <laughs> yes. And again, you know, we, so Jamie and I had that, you know, stupid stereotypical Mac versus PC relationship, <laughs> right? Like I would be the designer, he would be there, and yeah. those would be the arguments. We would argue about why Mac was better than a PC, yeah. why um, an iPhone was better than an Android, right? But <laughs> it just went so much crazier, right? Like mm. like the programming said, how Steve Jobs sucked, how <laughs> Bill Gates said, like it got emotional. <laughs> Yes. But then it got deeper, right? And it, yeah. it, it went from like empathy versus logic, mm -hmm. right? And it, and it just, at, at first it was just like, you know, even fucking dogs versus cats. Yes. Right? Yeah. I'm a dog guy. He's a cat <laughs> guy. I'm like, of course you're a fucking cat guy, right? <laughs> like again, and it's, oh, dogs are too needy. I'm like, yeah, spoken <laughs> like a true programmer. <laughs> Right. And, and, and it was funny cause I would always, we would harp on these differences mm. and, 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 and it was fun and it was a lot of good banter. Right. Never, ever. I think we walked away hating on each other <laughs> No, by any means. No. Right. But the thing is, you know, we just chalked it up as to being this stereotypical relationship. Right. And that's what I'm saying is I don't think it had to be, um, cause we were so focused on the differences. Right. I never actually, until all this fucking shit happened, I never really thought about um, the similarities mm -hmm. that that we had, right? right. And um, you know, and he's gonna fucking roll over and hate me right now, haunt me, <laughs> especially with Halloween. But it's like programmers were more more than designers than I ever gave him credit for. Yes. You know, and yeah. you don't think of it that way because no. of all this, this bullshit. Right. But you know, design isn't something that's exclusive to designers. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and, and this is the part that I wish, I wish I would have thought about this and, and, 
dug deeper on this earlier on because I think I think it would have changed our relationship a little bit, and it would have been I, you know I, I would have been a little bit more empathetic to him and yes. his ploy versus you know the 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 usual stereotypical you know butting heads right like you know that you yeah. always think and. Everywhere you look on the internet, you know, coders hate designers, designers hate coders, and <laughs> but it's just like, you know what, like, we're, we're all a bunch of fucking idiots, because <laughs> and this, this is a lot of soul searching here, guys, so bear with me. <laughs> For centuries and centuries, mm -hmm. art and science was like one and the same. They were integrated yeah. disciplines right. they weren't they weren't separate, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the lines were so blurred where one thing would end and the next would begin, right? Yeah. The two were like literally inseparable, and like they were all you couldn't you couldn't argue which one was which, which where did where science finished and where art started. Right. And I mean, you wouldn't think of it this way, but it was just it was a way on how to explain life. Yeah, because science can't always explain what happens, but mm -hmm. neither can art. Art does almost too much of an opposite, right? Well, right. This was just such a beautiful way to explain how everything was done, and you know, and and. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Like, look at look at look at the greats out there, mm -hmm. right? Look at the Leonardo da Vinci's yes. of the world, right? Yeah. Like somebody who was such a fucking amazing designer. Mm -hmm. He would create shit. He would be an artist. You know, he had the Mona Lisa. He would design shit to make lives better. Yeah. But he was also an engineer. Yes. He was also <laughs> yeah. heavy into science. Right. 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 Like even like Galileo. Right. right. And again, he was, uh, I think he was the first, the, the first official scientist that the church actually employed. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. And again, because th those two worlds should live together. Yeah. And so for whatever reason, um, you know, it was somewhere in the 20th century, you know, with this whole industrial age thing that, that mm -hmm. it all just separated. Yeah. And I don't really know why, hmm. right? Because then again, you get mid 20th century where it's like, you know, really like, you know, nerds became nerds <laughs> and they weren't cool. And there was, you know, really bad stereotypes. Yep. Right? Like, yep. remember the movies, Revenge of the Nerds? And this is the yes. way we grew up. Yes. <laughs> thinking those are fucking, you know, oh, they're just fucking nerds, right? What do they know, right? Yes. And, uh, and I even remember at a young age, and I'm not proud of it now, of course, but I used to tell people, you know, well, you know, what is it that you do? Try telling them I'm on a Mac. And they're like, oh, you're on a Mac? And I'm like, well, basically, I'm a cool nerd. <laughs> right? Because, and, and I mean, yeah, Macs are still cooler yeah, than PCs. Yeah. So <laughs> that's never going to change that in my world. never change. Nope. But, but, you know, the thing is, it was just like... It, I don't know why it was why 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 that happened, mm. and I think that's where the start of all this, yes. you know, was kind of where it was, right? Like you know, Macintosh created those commercials, and and they made them like it was like something cool to yeah. see the Mac versus the PC guy, and maybe it right. was a a dig to Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates, mm -hmm. right? Because Bill Gates was kind of like the quintessential nerd that everybody would make fun to up until yeah, that point, right? right? It's like those Mac commercials. Yeah, you were one hundred percent. Where the PC guy was the complete nerd with the glasses, and the, right? the hip dude was the Mac guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? right. And and again, they what they would yeah. do is they would point out the extreme differences, right? They would mm -hmm. point out the fringes, right? Um, and capitalize on all that shit, right? And yeah. they really, really, really created that divide. Yes. Which is kind of sucks now, now that I think of it, right? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, again, it, you know, of course, everything on the fringe is going to be on its extremes. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean, those commercials were, were totally basically saying, you know, your extreme, extreme, you know, you know, programmer is like this. And your extreme, extreme, extreme designer was like this. Mm -hmm. But, I mean... And then you realize now it's just like holy shit that's such a whole fucking marketing yeah because it's it's actually not that extreme mm -hmm. right like you know these are technically lies yeah that we all bought into because this was the world that we were and and this is you know now and in, in in this whole soul searching i kind of feel really guilty and shitty for mm -hmm. it, it's not it's not and i know it's like nobody's like you're an asshole yeah. boss i know that <laughs> because again the common you know perception online is still very much everywhere i looked and read is just like it's true the differences they hate each other and this and that mm -hmm. but they're totally not yeah okay and this is this is why i want this episode to fucking pay tribute to the most fucking awesome fucking guy that Dude. we had yes right and i mean again it was um an amazing talent holy shit like yes. he was so fucking smart he was incredible absolutely so incredible. smart new yeah right yeah. and yeah. and it's just like you know what and, and and i would joke about this but after after going through this he was more of a designer than i gave him credit for and mm -hmm. it sucks yeah so now let's let's so let, let's review some of these myths yeah. okay so okay. You know, common myths that everybody always hears is, you know, well, designer versus PC. One is data driven, mm -hmm. where the other is driven by emotion, yeah. right? 
how much bullshit is that right now if you think about it? Because, you know, you could easily argue and be like, well, they code and we yeah. create, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But think about it. Like, I mean, half of what we do is data driven. I, 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 for, for all of our episodes, mm -hmm. I'm always saying, you know what? If you have data, yep. tell the customer, this is the data. The data shows this. This backs the decisions up, yeah. right? A hundred percent. Like everything that we do, on, on, on a daily basis data. And that's just us as graphic designers, yes. you know, and, and brand strategists go even further. UX designers, mm -hmm. that whole fucking industry. If, if, if they want to call themselves designers, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's another podcast. There's altogether. another dig. Woo. But, um, <laughs> it, you know, that whole industry is all data based. It's all data driven. It's all data driven. Yes. Right. Yep. So again, like to say that you know designers are, are are emotionally driven and and coders are are data driven. That's that's a total myth. That's a total yes. bo bullshit. Right. Right. Coders are totally like you know emotionally driven. That's they love what they do. They they get that rush just like we would. Yes. Right. Absolutely. And then you know they click on something. It works. Fine. Boom. You yep. know it's happy. They move on. Like no. So that's bullshit. Right. Yeah, totally. Another myth. Um. One is a bunch of introverts mm -hmm. and the others are a bunch of extroverts. You know, some are quiet and sit in the corner while others are loud, crazy, and everybody wants to be their friend. So in doing this, this whole series, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the angry designer, how many times have we talked about the introverted designers? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think even within our own group of, of, you know, our team, how many are introverted? I yeah. think more introverted than extroverts. I think generally speaking, there'll be more introverts in our field than there right. are extroverts. Yes. But again, we wouldn't think that. No. You see the Mac versus PC commercials, yeah, you know, or, or hip, yeah. outgoing. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're cool. Yeah. They're hip. Yeah. They're outgoing. Yeah. The other yeah. ones are sitting in the corner. And that's a bunch of bullshit. Because <laughs> if you look at some of the huge, wildly successful programmers out there, mm -hmm. they're cool fucking people. Yeah. Right. And yeah. you're kind of like, or even when we hang out at our like, you know, tech events and shit like mm -hmm. that. They, you can't find the introverted ones, nope. right? Because at the events, it's 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 the extrovert. So yeah. again, common myth yeah. that everybody's led to believe, which is a total bunch of bullshit, yes. right? I agree, um, another one, one, you know, between you know programmers and designers, you know, follow a strict, you know, methodological process of doing things, where the other one is impulsive and free <laughs> and free. <laughs> bullshit. Again, bullshit, right? Yes. Because again, to yes. say that you know designers. The process of design. We fucking did an episode on the process, the process. of a design. Exactly. And granted, maybe our process might be a little bit more flexible. You start talking to UX designers, or or better yet, um, oh fuck, what is that? What, 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 pause. Uh, what what is that? Design thinking. Design, design thinking. thinking. Oh my Holy god. Holy fuck. Oh my How god. much more processed? <laughs> Of a pro design yes. thinking is all a process all, yes. to think like a designer. <laughs> like that's a bunch of fucking farce. <laughs> And, and again, a lot of times programmers, <laughs> they don't follow a process. Something's no. not working. They're jumping in yeah. and they're just kind of freewheeling it. Like they're just, they're, they're freestyling the whole yes. experience, yeah, right? Exactly. So you can't fucking tell me that, you know, one group of people is strict and, and methodical and the other group is all free, free spirited. Cause mm -hmm. you know what? Bullshit. Yeah. That's crazy. Bullshit. That's especially crazy. now more than ever. Right. right. One is factual based on observations where the other one is boundless <laughs> and creative. Okay. Again, another big bunch of fucking bullshit, yes, right? Because yes. again, you know, we, we're always saying bring the data forth, right? Mm -hmm. Like one has to be factual in design, right? Yes. We can't just make shit up yes. on a regular basis. Yes, exactly. It, it has to be that based wouldn't on work. Right. <laughs> so this is the kind of shit that is just like, these are all the things that we've been telling ourselves mm -hmm. and, and genuinely believing them. Yeah. And even up until this whole thing fucking happened, hundred percent, I believe this shit. Mm -hmm. Right. And then it just made me think even deeper. Well, how much, how much more further do the similarities go? Mm -hmm. You know, cause me and Jamie would talk about this shit. I don't even understand. Again, I would focus on the differences, mm -hmm. not on the similarities. Right. Right. Yeah. Like again, I'm not a Dr. Who, who fan. I'm yeah. not. So I'd be like, Oh <laughs> fuck. It's because he's a programmer that he's not. Well, okay. No, it's not. It's, it's because he was really, really into sci-fi <laughs> yes. and he loved, but I mean, again, yes. I was like, Oh, but I fucking respect that series. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the pop culture behind it is amazing. It just wasn't my thing. It's huge. Yeah. And it's... I, I would agree with you on that too. Yeah. I've never, ever, got the boat on that one i, right, I, don't, I right. don't know i don't know everybody else likes it but <laughs> but you know what but again in talking to them when you know programmers and designers mm -hmm. are young yeah right generally 
they both start off creative. Mm -hmm. They both start off drawing and, and building stuff, right? right? It's just the difference happens is, you know, like, because it's their creative expression. Yes. And how they do it, right? Yes. But as time goes on, some pick up, you know, a, a pencil and trade it in for, for a mouse to, right. to, to jump on a Mac or whatever. Other ones will pick up a keyboard mm -hmm. and their creative outlet is coding. Yes. Right. But again, we still start in the same place that it's this creative you know, expression. Yes. Right. Um, you know, both of us played with Lego. How many times do designers, as kids, we fucking play with Lego? Mm -hmm. How many programmers, engineers yes. play with Lego? They yes. live on that shit. Right. Right. Yes. So again, that similarities, mm -hmm. not fucking differences. Yes. Um, other ones, fucking Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> How many, <laughs> both, okay, designers and programmers all have incredibly fond memories of fucking Saturday morning cartoons. And yes. we're talking about like the most awesome shit, like He-Man, <laughs> like She-Ra, like Thunder, Thunder, <laughs> Thundercats, right? Like the best of the best. You fucking Ninja Turtles. Yes. Okay. This shit was an exclusive to one. Again, I would only go on about my toy collection, but that guy was totally obsessed with his. And I know that they are like that. Yeah. Or, or even as grownups, how designers and programmers now adorn their desks with all that shit from their youth. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. You go, I, I mean, we go to visit some of our customers and I mean, you go up and down their programmer, you know, desks and yep. shit. And there's all kinds of, yeah. everywhere. Ninja Turtles, <laughs> like retro this, cool, funky yeah. that. And it's just like, wow, this is a graphic design student. You're like, no, this is our programming <laughs> our department. Programmers. So Wait, what? <laughs> I know. And this is why I have felt like a bag of shit yeah. when I'm like, <laughs> like they're totally, we, we are, Honestly, I think we're more alike than we are apart. Yes, I would agree with you. And I'm an asshole for not even realizing no, it until no, I, after, I, like, you know, like our, our, our best fucking, you know, yeah. ever dude in the yeah. world fucking it, it is gone. Yeah, I know. Asshole, but I hate the, you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing is like we would have discussions, serious, deep discussions about whether Kiss was good. You know right? what I mean? <laughs> well, that's what I mean, right? But uh, still, I mean, yeah. we could not, we wouldn't agree. Yeah. on some things but there were other things that we did have commonalities absolutely in. yeah so absolutely it's, dude. it's a different set of tools that we worked with i think so and again and, and even if you want to get technical i mm. always say you know what what does a designer do mm. a designer solves problems to make an end user's life better right that's what i always say a true yeah. test is that if you're a fucking designer you find that problem the customer's mm -hmm. having and you solve it yes okay and and it doesn't have to necessarily just be graphically or whatever it could be brand could be business but your job as a designer is to solve that end yeah. user's problem right well what the fuck does a programmer do that's exactly i was just gonna say that right and this is the part exactly like, what they like, do <laughs> they're engineering something yes. to help an end user's life be better, help That's a company right. be better, help them solve a problem, yes. help them solve a problem through technology, Yes, right? This is just, it's like, uh, what? Uh, like honestly, it's just the only difference is they're delivering their solution through code, Yes, right? Yeah. But they're still delivering a fucking, and this is where it's just like, how could I have been so fucking stupid <laughs> not to appreciate or, or see this, right? Yeah. Like, this is this is exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. It's just we both do it with different fucking tools. With different tools. Right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Oh God. And then not to mention, not to mention, mm -hmm. they also fucking solve UX problems on a regular basis. This is the thing. You know, they won't go as deep as a ooh, UX <laughs> designer, you know? <laughs> like, ooh, no, the he didn't do a journey map and we have to do a sticky session. And don't don't even fucking start me on that. But the problem is, it's like they what they're doing is even more important so number one yes they will go in and fix all the fucking navigation tweaks and the journey fucks up so mm -hmm. that people kind of realize that they missed on their wires and this and that and the programmers will fix it at the last minute right uh, yes because they'll realize holy shit this was missed you this, need this yes you need this right so they, they're always going to pick up shit yeah that no fucking ux designer or you ui ever designer even will think of yes but, but even more so okay they're like that that unsung hero because yes. right you know the one thing that I used to love, um, you know, sorry, I had, before I had an iPhone, mm -hmm. I had that, that fucking Blackberry <laughs> fucking torch or whatever. Oh, oh. it was like that. They're, 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 was it the white one? With the... No, no. The torch was like the, or I think it was the flat screen oh, one. That oh. was like their attempt to be like an iPhone. Oh yes. And it's like, everything was horrible. It was, you'd push on something. It didn't feel right. You'd swipe and it would, there'd be a delay. Yeah. It never felt like your hand and that was connected. Yeah. When I then first got an iPhone, it was just like, wow, this, Ooh, this is seamless. It feels like, right. it doesn't even feel like I'm on a screen. It mm. feels like I'm actually interacting here with something. Yeah. Well, 
a designer didn't do that. No. A fucking coder made yes. that happen. This is why Listen. it's like, you know, UX designers go on about, oh, we're all about, you know, the design. We're, we're that connection. But the programmers are the ones who go deeper and make and spend the countless hours to make sure that the timing is just fucking right. So yeah. it just, we can't do that. Yes. Right. That's, that was his job, right? Yeah. Like this is, you know, and again, to make sure that pages load faster on websites mm. and to make sure JavaScript is, is minimized. Yes. Right. So pages will just quickly pop up, pop up. Yeah. This isn't a designer's job. No, this we, we a, don't know how to do that. This is a programmer yes. doing this, but they're doing it to make the user's experience better. Right. How, how can a fucking UX designer tell me that if I can programmers are, <laughs> don't even fucking start there. All right. Like, again, we know the difference between the two, you know? Yeah, I get it. You know, UX designers and, and you know, sometimes, you know, we'll have to do all this extra, you know, uh, customer interaction bullshit yeah, and go yeah. deeper. Fine. Own that. Because yes. I'm sure programmers have, you know, they're busy, busy enough doing their own shit. Yeah. But let's not forget a lot of times when stuff goes from a UX designer to the UI designer, UI designer to the programmer. Mm -hmm. Well, there's certain states that are missing, mm -hmm. you know, hover over states, click states. Right. What about this? What about that? Who's picking up that fucking app? That's right. It's the fucking programmers yes. the that are like, well, defense. right. The yeah. last line of fucking defense. Yeah. They're the ones who are actually kind of, you know, and they, they never get that. They never get credit for this kind are of stuff. Are you kidding me? No way, man. No, not at fucking all. But they're the ones who are picking up and filling in the gaps mm. that unfortunately designers might have left out maybe right yeah yeah it's like it's like again it's like it, ux designers are the only one who's working on the shit that affects a customer's journey right mm -hmm. and so they shouldn't try to take the credit for that yes. right ux oh we're all about that no 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 start working with the fucking programmer a yes. little bit more in that sense yes. right exactly oh dude it's just like i feel like an idiot for just i don't know why it's taken this long to, and again i've just taken it all for granted like the rest of the world so i yeah. fucking need to do a mission or something here yes you need to uh, i don't know take a spiritual journey up a mountain or something like that yeah at the top of the mountain you just go i realize you know, programmers are amazing. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I think Jamie would appreciate that. He would love that. He, he would, would love that. Yeah. But like, you know, the funny thing is, <laughs> even even in in our work process, even in mm. the shit that we have to do on mm -hmm. it, and again, really want to see how close we're alike. Okay, yeah. this is when shit gets scary, mm -hmm. right? So you know, let's let's look at how similar our days are like, or mm -hmm. how we approach projects right okay all right so designers start you know a project with an empty canvas mm -hmm. right whether it's paper whether it's a an illustrator canvas right yeah yep. coders start with an empty text file mm. okay up on screen fine on screen some yeah. of them will also start you know with with an empty pad of paper beside them to start creating stuff right mm -hmm. so we start the same project the same way designers um we draw all day we refine mm -hmm. we tweak we iterate yeah programmers you know, they code. Sorry, they don't draw. Yeah, they, they don't code, draw. They don't draw. But yes. then they change, they refine, they iterate. They do the exact same shit. Yes. The thing is, it's just they're not drawing, they're coding. Right. Other than that, it's all the same. We, as designers, both, you know, we seek inspiration from places like, you know, Behance or Dribble or mm -hmm. Creative Boom for ideas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Programmers seek inspiration from places like Overflow and GitHub. They're doing the exact same shit that mm, we're doing. Okay. Um, we both bitch about trends, <laughs> you know, tools, <laughs> patterns, you know, to other people in our industry that we yeah. do. We yeah. both hate the big players in the industries <laughs> like the Adobe's and, you know, just, I don't even want to get too deep on this one. Um, we both have internal fucking morons and organizations <laughs> that throw us under the bus any chance they can to make themselves look better. Oh, it was the designer's fault. Oh, it was the yeah, programmer's yeah. fault. And it's because they don't appreciate what the fuck we do. Okay. Right. Right. We both work to deliver completed projects yeah. to customers who often have no fucking idea, you know, how to do what I we do and they have no idea how to do what we do, but we have to listen to them mm. on how they could do it better and, <laughs> and listen to them. No, not maybe necessarily how to do it better, but how to yeah. listen to these morons yeah. who have no fucking idea what, what, how to do what we do, but tell us how to do something a little better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you should make the logo bigger. Yeah. I think you should move that submit button down into the right more or Ooh, how about I, Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go, go, go. I was just going to say, how about let lightning strike every yeah. time the counter rolls out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, again, <laughs> customer. So I think we equally hate customers, yeah, you know, exactly. the stupid, ignorant customers alike. 
Okay, this is a for sure thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we both fucking um hate deadlines, mm -hmm. but okay, both designers and programmers hate fucking deadlines, mm -hmm. but we both need them yes. because if we don't have that deadline, we we won't complete a project. <laughs> we'll just keep fucking and fucking and fucking. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Right? It's so true. <laughs> Oh God, both um, programmers and designers hate what they're doing when they're actually doing it. Yes. Right? And yep. they fucking, they, they hate every Curse minute. Curse it but, all the time, yeah. But when you finish that logo and yep. you're like, that fucking rocks. Just like when they finish that script to get an action, they're like, this <laughs> fucking you, yes, rocks. that kicks ass. Right? It's the yeah. exact same experience. <laughs> like proud papas. <laughs> um, both designers and programmers. Mm -hmm. Hate WordPress equally. <laughs> for the record, <laughs> for the record, <laughs> not even argue this one out. Um, There's one thing we could all agree <laughs> yeah, on. We can all rally behind. <laughs> both both hate not being brought into projects earlier. Mm. Okay, um, you know, yes. and 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 even more so, both hate being handed over a half ass brief mm. and being told here just just do it yeah just, just finish it off start yeah. it and we'll fill in the details later right this is shit that we both fucking deal with yeah. and i i am so guilty of doing that with that fucking guy <laughs> yeah. but it's true it's we both have that right yeah um we both have fucking imposter syndrome. Ah, right. Right. Even uh, the, even the programmers, eh? Because you know, it's mm. like when coders, um, when programmers are, are trying something and it's not working, mm. they're like, "Fuck! Why am I doing this? I yeah. suck at this. Yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it." Second guess yourself. When they, always, right? Right. And just like designers, you can't you can't get that you know project over the you, you know for whatever reason you're stuck. You're yeah. in a, you know and but again going back to the one before, once you do it, yeah. you feel relief. You f yeah. Right. Is it kind of like what we would do, like? Like somebody gives you a uh, a program problem programming problem and then you go to GitHub to figure out how to how to fucking absolutely do it. Yeah. right well but then sometimes that doesn't work and you're trial ah. and error trial and so error there is and, you're, a lot of... and you're constantly making yourself one like do I even know what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> like this should be yeah. easy yes but again it's just it's always that one little nuance yes that you know that when you do finally catch it you feel yeah, like you're, you're like, a hero oh, right it. but yeah. again imposter syndrome hits us hits us all interesting right equally hmm. and um. And just because, and this one's totally similar, <laughs> just because we work on computers every fucking day right. doesn't make us IT experts, okay? So don't call us to say, my printer is broken. Can you fix it? You work on a computer all day long. Or my, my internet is down in my house. Can you come take a look at it? You work on a computer, right? I used to do that to that poor guy all the time. Right? Jamie, fucking What's, computer's not working. Why, right? why is this not working? The printer's not working. Not... Hey, his, his answer would always be, because it's a fucking Mac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you asshole. You're right. I know. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, dude. We uh, go through the same shit yeah. all the time. Wow, that's right. Is... It's just different tools and 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 it's what we're responsible for differently. Right. Is that's that's the only difference. Yes. And right. we work pretty hand in hand with well, we with should these guys. If we are, don't are, are we, we should more we like should do this. More. And no, like realizing this more often yes. because oftentimes there is that separation. And I really do, I think now more than ever believe that it's all this media hype bullshit. Mm. It's all the Mac PC commercials. It's all the fucking memes out there. This is a programmer. Dividing this is a designer, us. right? Yeah. Like it's, 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 we've been guilty of it too, mm -hmm. right? And, and it's like, you know what? We are like, we should be working together. Yes. Because again, if our two worlds could, like if we can put that shit together, mm -hmm. right? Put put those differences aside and realize how much similar. Yeah. Number one, we'd start liking working with each other. Cause yeah. you know, I, I really did like working with Jamie. I love the fucking I did guy. Too. Yes, he was um, awesome. You know, it's, and it's just, you know, if I, if I had realized this and thought about this a little bit more, I would have been a little bit more sensitive, mm. right? And yeah. I would have been, cause again, I was a jerk, not because I was a jerk, <laughs> It was because I didn't realize yeah. how much alike we actually were in the shit that we put up with. Yes. I know he was happy with us. He I know totally he was. wouldn't have I stuck around. That dude, I mean, it was funny because one of those, you know, it's one of those times where it's like something would go, something would go fucking wrong. <laughs> and you text him and it's like right off the bat. Yeah. Okay. I got that. It's yeah, fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I what know, I mean? Right? And it's just like, I don't know what he did. Yeah, he's fucking you programming know, voodoo shit. Exactly. I know, he, yeah, I know. He, he could have had a chicken there and letting blood from it, <laughs> right. smoke coming out of it. I don't know. 
but he was fucking awesome at doing that you know and it was and 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 i remember talking to him about this and and we would talk about like you know what makes a good program just like what makes a good designer Mm. isn't isn't necessarily that you know this shit yeah it's how fast can you learn shit you don't know yes and that's the difference because you know if 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 we're doing the same shit every single the same like a a coder Mm -hmm. their industry has it grows so fast just like ours more than ours it's way faster turnover but again you're 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 good not by what you can do today but how fast you can pick up new shit on a regular basis exactly and and i mean he 100 taught me that and i owe him that one for sure and Mm. i was i bragged everybody about that one you know yeah 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 he was he was one of kind that guy yeah he really was he will never ever ever be replaced here like you can't in fact we're getting a, a big ass Doctor Who poster for the back off oh, for the back oh, for the bullpen. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yes. we have to, and, and he's going to stay with us forever back yes, there. Yes, that's perfect. Just because he is, he is, he embraced everything this company was in yep. his own quirky way. He was such a fucking quirky guy. He was yep. so stubborn. I wish you would have fucking <laughs> went to the doctor. <laughs> I know, fucking I know, asshole. I hate you for not going there. But I know. Fucking, I love this guy. Yes. Like it's just yes. He, he just, was literally a brother. He was. He was, he was our brothers. He was our brother. Yeah. Fuck. Do you go to the doctor whenever you're going to fucking punch you in the head? It, fucking Aaron Draplin and now I know, Jamie. Right? I mean, good God. This is this is this is a sign. Yeah. So everybody I know, I know. everybody uh, get checked. He got I'm yeah. like, yep. <laughs> make sure you call and make an appointment for that colonoscopy. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, looking yeah, forward that's, to that. That's dreading one. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> So, so I hope this episode at the very least pays tribute to the most awesome fucking programmer, brilliant fucking yes. person. And, you know, honestly, beautiful person. He was such an he awesome. Was, he was wonderful. He was good. He was kind. He was so fucking funny. kind. He was so funny. So sarcastic. That dry. The dry. He was so he was dry. As dr- he was like sandpaper. Half the humor. time you had no idea if he was, <laughs> if he was serious. Yeah, you're, or you're just kind of like, you're sitting there thinking, what? oh, he was <laughs> And then I'd just be like, "Oh, fuck yeah, that's that's good, clever." Fuck, <laughs> I know it's oh, it's dude. it's very it's very very sad. Like, there's a huge hole, yeah, in in my heart for yeah. for that guy. I, I mean, the, it's, the world lost an incredible we did. person. We, we really, like, a really, really good, and, gentle and, soul. And I, yeah. you know, the, I I only I kind of wish, like, I, I respect his decision to to. You know, work remotely and, mm-hmm. and move to you know, Sault Ste. Marie's what eight hours away? Like it's, it's a long ways away. away. It is. It it's, is. It Canada's is. pretty big, but it, when he was here, and I think I only worked with him for maybe a, a six oh, no, or seven dude. months. We don't, I think we were was like it, almost a year. We were in that okay. office, like the three of us. The three were of together. us in that yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, like I mean, we we had oh, we always a had a good time. time yes. It? The exactly. laughs. The music. Yes. Yes. Right? The like discussions. We, the discussions. Oh, the arguments. The arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was off but the table. Were, but they were always kind of couched in, in you know, like a respect. Oh, I, th- I, I think. I believe it, 100%. Yes. Because you know I, I, mean? I think he totally respected what you did. And you, I know you respected what he oh, did. Fuck, like I could do what he did. He, sure. was, a, he was a rock it was, star with But that. you know, and again, it was, it was, had I understood the similarities more than the differences, I yes. think I could have communicated been, better, yeah. brought him into this world a little bit more. Because right. I, I know I understood his world. Yeah. And after a while I learned it and I realized, you know, why you couldn't just be like, yeah, it can be done and this and that. And, and so like from a project management perspective, yeah. I yeah. got it, but yeah, excuse me, it wasn't human. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't, and and that's the part that why I feel like I felt short. Yeah, I felt short on this one. It was kind of like uh, he, he was kind of like uh, Mr. Scott from Star Trek, <laughs> really the was. engine room. You know, when you were we're all desperately in trouble, and it's like yeah, you're like, yeah. I need I need full power. I need to this. The... <laughs> I need this. And he's like, I can't do it, Captain. You know, <laughs> but he'd find a way. Fuck. He'd fucking find yeah. a way to do it for us. Yeah, and he was a fucking rock star that way, man. It's it's just awful. It's it's very yeah. sad. It's very very but sad. But you know what? Hopefully, now hopefully, I mean, I, he's going to be turning over in his grave. I'm sure he's going to be fucking <laughs> haunting me he would tonight hate because the I, way we're talking. I yes. know he would. He'd be like, "Why, why are you such a pussy, you about asshole? This? Shut you up! Shut up! Right? He would be. He would be." But I mean, too fucking bad. I man. think if I brought him this shit and was like, "Dude, look, yes. we're exactly the same." Yes, it's just I use a Mac and you use a PC. Exactly, and literally. That is the difference. And and for the record, yeah. even though he used a PC, 
he still was a Linux guy, okay? Okay. He was a Linux guy. Fair, and, yeah. you know, Mac OS is based on Linux based operating on that, system. That's right, that's right. right. So, you know, he just didn't want to admit it. He was an in-the-closet <laughs> Mac guy. He was an in-the-closet <laughs> Mac guy. He was in <laughs> Damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm. You know, I'm glad we did this because... Yeah, um, this was really good. This, this is very is, eye-opening and, yeah. and very... It, it's It's uncanny, the similarities yeah, yeah. that... that it's yeah, true. Both it's true. Two yeah. branches of the diff- of the same tree. It really basically. is, though, yeah. isn't it? Eh? Mm-hmm. And this is like, but the same fucking tree. Yeah, the same tree. And that's the thing. Totally. And, and, you know, science and art were the same once before. It should yep. be the same now. It totally should. Both should be working together, not fighting yes. together. Yes. Right? Exactly. It just seems like we less, need to come together on this Less shit. separation on this stuff. Honestly. Than, yes. Yeah. And, and again, I, I promise you, I am going to have a completely different outlook at this point forward. I After doing this episode, because again, I fought with this do mm-hmm. i don't i do i don't i yeah and then it kind of came together and was just like holy shit like and i'm not even like trying to fluff this up mm-hmm. this is legit yeah we're the same and we go through the same shit it's we just we're just we just go about it differently i you know we take care of the design the visual design right he makes that shit happen exactly right yeah. so just because something looks good don't be fucking praising just the visual designer the ux the There's ui a- designer behind it because honestly it's those fucking coders yeah. that make that experience happen happen that's right they make the shit happen it's the back end 100 percent, yep. dude yep. yep so to jamie to jamie, jamie morin yep. the world lost the most amazing fucking programmer ever god damn yes. and uh oh fuck you'll be this missed is, brother yes, you will be missed will. i love you so yes. much fuck i hate you for doing this <laughs> oh. yes but we at least had a good time a good yeah. um run with him right and yeah gave us like you know a third of his life a third of his life well a little more than a third maybe yes. a quarter okay because yes. he wasn't he he was <laughs> still a little older yeah so, he was not he, as old no as no a we third were. actually sorry my math sucks yeah yeah it was a third it was a third <laughs> he would have corrected us on that one yes he would have <laughs> he's Asshole. the math guy <laughs> all right everybody i don't yes. want to i don't want to yep. harp on this too much you know where to hit us up on yep. um on instagram oh fuck finish it off sean finish it off. <laughs> Yes, I don't know whether I can do it either. I'm kind of speechless myself, but yeah. You know where to find us. Uh, send us shout outs, send us love. Tell us, you know, all about your experiences. If you had something like this, um, it's, you know, it's it's really sad. We're we're completely gutted by this, but we will move on and, and we will have a new respect for our programming brothers. Um, Absolutely. And I wonder if there's a design or if there's a, an angry podcast or angry programmers podcast know, out we there. should start looking and see we should <laughs> i think that's that's the next few guest next, podcasts we should <laughs> exactly we really should i owe this to this dude, yes man. we we really should yeah All so right. hit us up on instagram you know we were always around and uh we uh love hearing from you guys uh, send us on to uh anybody that you uh think might benefit from hearing us and uh you know anything and the ones that, who hate us. <laughs> anybody who might hate us i always love that <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so uh, my name's Sean. My name is Massimo, everybody. Stay creative. And stay angry.